to live happily and see today as a gift from God. Can the church say amen? Amen. amen. On the morning of June 11th, the outpouring of support for my family, friends, and colleagues like Dr. Rich Besser was overwhelming. They gave me the strength I needed as I prepared to share with the world news of a very personal nature. Sometimes treatment for cancer can lead to other serious medical issues, and that's what I'm facing right now. It is something that is called MDS. I didn't sleep much the night before going over my head, you know, what I would say, worried about how it would be received. My big sister is a virtually perfect match for me, and she is going to be my donor. She's going to be my donor. And I remember seeing Diane and Rich at the studio and spent a little time with them before making the announcement and we kind of huddled together because for the longest time, it was just the three of us. Diane and I have been down this road before when I battled breast cancer in 2007. And this is my Thelma. We call ourselves Thelma and Louise. We thought we were a little stealth team. Yeah. I have your back, sister. <laughs> I know that you do. And I know it has been replayed. I can't watch it. Can't watch it. Millions of viewers did watch, and the reaction to my announcement of MDS was beyond what I could have ever imagined. The day that I announced my diagnosis was also the day I began pre-treatment. Then we're gonna take a full deep breath in. Hold your breath, hold your breath. So many questions. I decided to bring cameras along because no matter what would happen, I wanted to share my story. I don't even flinch anymore. Physical exams, blood tests, and chemo were relentless. Can't believe I'm doing this again. Tell you the truth, um, it's, it's different from the last time I had chemo, which is longer and um, would lose my hair. Yeah, this is where I'm happy. I know this may be hard to believe, but even the painful bone marrow test became routine. <laughs> this is my fourth bone marrow test since April, and it's um. You know, it's getting a little easier because I know more of what to expect. Here okay. comes the needle okay. you're going to feel already. Okay. One, two, three, pinch. We're all set. You're totally done. Are you? Wait a, minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. This bone marrow test is 100% over. 100% finished, okay. and you did awesome. My oncologist, Dr. Gail Robos, treats so many patients just like me. She certainly knew how to make this easier. Now we're up in the big league. My GMA family and viewers also did everything they could to keep my spirits up. Here we are, rocking the armbands, and here's why, because I know you've all been asking about them. It covers this, these two lines here, so it makes it easier to draw blood and also to, to administer medication like the chemo that I'm about to have. Now, something I was not expecting, my colleagues and viewers turned my pick line cover into a fashion trend. So I started being sent these really different, wild little pick covers. It was funny to me how people were saying I was making a fashion statement. I'm like, no, I'm just trying to keep it clean. And there were a few viewers that were kind of disappointed after the pick line was taken out. Like, oh, I love those pick covers. They were so pretty. And I'm like, well, you know, you can have them. All along, I was worried about Sally Ann her tests and her fear of needles. But she and I want everyone around the country to know that being a bone marrow donor is a gift that you really can give. I had my EKG, I had my blood drawn. That's it? Oh, wow, this is easy peasy. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I don't feel any fear about the procedure. I, I just totally trust that everything is going to work out as it should. We need thee, oh, we need thee. Oh, she's singing now. Oh, my God, get me out of here, get me out of here. Just as I thought everything was finally in place for my transplant, mom's health took a turn. My mother had suffered a stroke in the middle of July, and I was going home every weekend. And I don't care if you're two or 52, when you're sick, you want your mommy. You want your mommy. And she knew that. Tomorrow, 
Well, Robin will begin a journey as she takes her medical leave. And August 30th was my final day on GMA. My GMA family, my family there at home, I love you and I'll see you soon. Yes. Dorothy sent a text and she said, our mother is on her way home. <laughs> that plane couldn't get there fast enough. <sighs> Sally Ann and I made it home in time to be by mom's side during her final moments. Mom made a cough, and I got up and held her hand and she turned and it was her last breath. There's nothing like a mother's love. My beloved mother lay to rest. Now it was time for me to face the unknown road ahead without her here. It was time for the transplant. I remember seeing tears in Dr. Gerald's eyes. 